Shalom God people, I want to share with you the revelation of the 8th of September 2023 at 4 p.m., we were in the preparation of the Feast of Forgiveness, and we were gathered for this occasion and the pastor was preaching in Leviticus 23 about the Feast of the Lord. He was saying that the Lord always insist on sacrifice and offering burnt in fire, while the pastor was speaking about offering consumed by fire. The Lord began to explain to me the meaning of offering burnt by fire, I want to say that this revelation has two parts, in the first part the Lord talked about his feast, and on the second part the Lord wanted to get the attention of his church through a soul that went to perdition, you will understand later, the Lord said to me, daughter, the offering consumed by fire are your prayers, that are done with broken and contrite spirit, in a state where your soul is detached from the things of the world but attached to me, when a soul is in distress and pain because of me, when he called upon me his prayers will rise to me like an offering consumed by fire, which is the tool of purification from impurity of this world, likewise trials and suffering are painful moment for you, in truth they come like fire to consume the old man, who is fighting for my place in your heart, the pain with which you come to me in that state turned your prayer to fragrance of good smell in my nostril so alert all my children, especially those who have laid down their weapon, tell them to get back to the battlefield for war, I will visit each one of them individually, tell them to stand ready, after speaking this way, the Lord showed me a vision of many souls, and they were countless, actually these numerous souls of men and women were standing before the gate of heaven in a queue, I saw that they all seemed scandalized as they stood in the queue, waiting for either justification or condemnation. I had the impression that in this frontier of eternity time had no influence as it does not exist. For time was submitted to the Lord, contrary to time in earth where we organize our activity on the basis of time, and we feel like we are commanding time, but in the afterlife time seems to be submitted to the Lord, for I notice that people in the afterlife don't do things on the basis of time they don't make time related program, everybody was waiting in the queue in order to be called to either be justified or condemned, that what I notice about time beyond the grave, it's not like on the earth where we run behind time, the influence of time stop beyond the grave, I saw the dead that had overcome the flesh and the world, they were allowed in the eternal world of light, I saw that they were in pure white garment, but those who could not make it through the ancient gate of the holy city were naked and they were not clothed and a violent wind like a tornado was carrying them with violence away from the gate to the place of torment, to my surprise, I noticed among the naked souls before the gate of heaven a particular lady, who was also able to recognize me, and she was looking at me, I saw that there was a screen that displayed the life of these souls that stood in the queue before the ancient gate of heaven, then I heard the voice of the Lord resounding from within the city, the Lord told me, up to the last minute of her life, I worked hard and did what was possible in order to save her soul, but this lady rejected me, what have I not done for her, daughter, understand that my love for your souls will not stop you from falling to the eternal fire if you don't do your part, when the Lord spoke that way, the lady that I was able to recognize screamed to me and told me, deliver this message to my family and warn them not to come here, actually, in the month of June of this year 2023 the Lord gave us a message for this lady to warn her, in truth the Lord was preparing her soul for the kingdom of heaven, but she did not understand, she pray in a liberal church where ladies adorn themselves with the ornament of the world, they wear a wig, high heels and paint their face, but in the beginning of July of this year she came to our church, and met our pastor Stephen, they talk for a long time and the pastor spoke to her about getting rid of the adornment of the world, painted face and the fashion of this world, and cleaning her heart, instead of getting rid of vanity and makeup of Jezebel she hardened her heart and refused to follow the instruction of the pastor, she rejected the doctrine of holiness of the body and separation from vanities, which is the first step of a process, that goes all the way to the cleaning of the inner man, the lady rejected the doctrine of holiness of the body, soul and spirit, saying that she pray in another church where they teach that painting face with lipstick and beauty powder is not a sin, she stood the ground and remained standing her position because she wanted to continue painting her face, 
This woman was screaming in despair, I saw that this kind of despair was far different from what we witness on the earth, for you could feel the woman hope was completely lost, there was no more opportunity for her soul to make correction, and she had reached a dead end, before the gate of heaven she realized that she can do all she want but there is no more grace, it's over, we can repent only on the earth for there is no repentance beyond the grave. In the world we can go through painful and hopeless situation and when all hope is lost the Lord would intervene and hope and faith will be restored, but when a soul find himself before the gate of heaven, and she become aware that she would not enter the pearly gate of the eternal kingdom, I can tell you that all the negative emotion fall upon him and he will be filled with despair, discouragement, pressure, hopelessness, anguish, desolation, sadness, all these will fill his soul. This lady felt all these emotion and was aware that it was over for her, she was shouting and giving me a message for her family not to come where she was going, please my brother and sister, don't wait until it is too late, please take these warnings seriously, think about your soul and take these warnings seriously, why would you go to hell because of attachment, wig and beauty product, why go to hell because of lipstick, jewelry, high heels, you want to burn a days and night in the flames of hell because of the adornment of the world, why are he eating bitterness and refusing to forgive to burn in hell where time seems endless, because of anger, hate and conflict, what is happening before the gate of heaven is dramatic and dreadful, beside the message for her family this lady told me, when I arrived before the gate of heaven the Lord told me I never knew you, how can my creator say he does not know me while many people know me in the world, she told me, Please my sister, don't keep quiet for you can save life, please speak out and warn the people, please keep speaking don't keep quiet, tell people to attach themselves to the Lord, they should not give up, tell them not to make the mistake that I made when I was warned to give up the adornment of the world, painting face and wig, she had barely finished addressing me when she was pulled to the great abyss of darkness, and she disappeared in the great darkness, the Lord told me, my daughter, this issue of painted face, vanities and adornment of the world is crucial for the salvation of souls, especially women, I said to the Lord, but I heard that when this lady died she had no makeup on her face, the Lord said when a woman decide to give up vanities and adornment, she must ask for forgiveness, and invoke my blood to clean her and wash away all the traces of her adornment and vanity in her soul and her spirit, otherwise she has done nothings. Tell my people on the earth that my blood is precious, my blood is one of the key for your salvation, learn to invoke my blood to clean your body, soul and spirit. And be very careful, let my peace be your portion, this is the message that the Lord gave me to share, this issue of heaven and hell concern us all, this lady visited us in the group and this was orchestrated by the Lord, but she did not know that her journey on the earth was about to end. The Lord brought her to our church to separate her from vanity, wig and painted face, and prepare her for heaven, but she hardened her heart and stood her ground, not knowing that death was coming, she did not last three months, it is clear that the Lord tried hard to save this lady, that's why she sent her to visit our cell, but she prefer liberal church where vanity, makeup and adornment of Jezebel is permitted. Let us not be in situation where it is too late and regret before the gate of heaven.